Once you've installed and activated Gravity Forms Advanced Calculation plugin, let's get started with the calculation. So in this example, I'll add a new drop-down field and I'll give it a name, products. And I'll give it a data cell value of P1. And now for the choices, let's click on show values. And for each choice, we'll set a price. So for the first choice, it'll be 10. For the second one, it'll be 20. And third is 30. So now we have created a product dropdown. I'll add a number field, which will work as a quantity field. I'll just have it a quantity field. And data cell value will be Q1. So now we have created two fields uh, for products and quantity. Let's just perform calculation between these two fields. So I'll go to first, I have to update the form. Now I go to advanced field section and click on calculation and I'll call it total and give it a data cell value of T1. You don't really need to give this data cell value at the moment, but if you need to further extend your calculation, you can use the output value of this calculation field and create another calculation field and you can fetch the value using the formulas um, with this field. So I just gave the T1 value so I can use it later on. So now this is, the, uh, this is the place where you enter your formula. So for instance, as this is a very basic form where you'll multiply the value of a product into quantity to get the total. So I'll just click on insert data cell and I'll just click product, which is P1. So I'll multiply it with quantity, which is Q1. And I'll just update the plugin. So now if you preview the form on the front end, now we have first choice which has the value of $10. But since we don't have any quantity selected, the total is not updated. So if I click, if I enter one, it will be 10. If I enter two, it'll just keep on multiplying the values to that. So now let's say I have three quantity for the first choice. If I switch to second, it'll update the total to 60. If I update the third choice, it'll update to 90. So that's how easy it is to perform the calculations. Now with this plugin, you have so many options. You can use conditional calculations. Uh, you can use um, you can calculate days and dates between each formulas and a lot of excel supported formulas will work with this calculation so in the further tutorials i'll be able to explain you how you can perform cal advanced calculation with this plugin uh, i think i've missed this prefix uh, thing so if you can add a prefix before the calculation field and suffix after the calculations field so if i added dollar as a prefix and per month as a suffix you will see what happens on the front end if I refresh the page again, so as you can see, first choice is this. If I select quantity, sorry, one, it'd be dollar, 10 months. So you can set any prefix or suffix for that field, and that'll take care of all the calculation for you. Thank you.